I learned myself that, you know, it, check your ego, leave your ego at home. Even though I would never show up to set and demand more camera time, more rehearsal, it's, you know, I'm an actor, I wanna play different, di my thing about, I had to check my ego being like, I wanna play different roles. And when they kept calling me in for um, certain, the same roles over and over and over again for different projects, my ego stepped in and was like, no, you, no, you, you can put something else, you can put something else, Blake. And what, you know, so even though I wasn't showing up to set, you know, talking to producers, being like, give me more camera time, give me more lines, my ego was saying, you know, before I got to set, like, I'm not playing that character, I, I'm, not, I'm not doing that, like, I did, I've already done that character, I'm an actor, let me show you what else I can do. And so it's like, I, I can see how actors, look. Like, we, we want to play different stuff, and, but it's just about, you know, leave your ego at home, and that's what I learned about myself, and so, I was guilty of it too. I just know not to show up to set and act cool, but I am I also as an actor have been guilty. I just, you know, uh, I got it together before I actually got the job, but I had been guilty of, um, you know, letting my ego step in when really it's like, you're a fucking actor. You need to, if somebody wants you to play the drug addict, you play the drug addict. If they want to play, you to play the thug in every single role, you play the thug in every single role. Until you get to a uh, level where you have money and you can pick and choose what you want, you leave your ego at home and you, and you do what they tell you to do. It's, um, I got hired as a stand-in. You know, you show up to set, it's 6 a.m. You know, you do, you do, the stand-in comes in at 6 a.m., you do the lines, you do the rehearsal. Um, so when I got there, since I'm black, I, every time I, I stand in, I like look for who the person of color, whoever like is of color, because that's what I'm standing in for. I did not see the black actor, so I was like, okay, whatever. So I'm, I'm just, I, did, I did the rehearsal. So we do the rehearsal, do the rehearsal, and then the other stand, the rehearsal's over. Then the other stand-ins, um, they're like, okay, you guys leave. Blake, you stay. And I was like, that's really weird, because I'm like trying to go and like read my book, you know, like let the professional actor come in so I can go sit down and like just do me. I find out that the actor who I was standing in for showed up to set with an ego. He showed up to set being this actor I was gonna stand in for. He was this black actor, I can't say his name. But he, um, he showed up to set because he wanted more camera time, he wanted more lines. So he was in the makeup, he showed up to set, he was in the makeup chair, refused to sign the contract because uh, he wanted more lines. And so the, it's a 6 a.m. in the morning. Producers are not, it's television. They are not gonna give you more lines. The show is not about you. So they said, no, you're not, you're not, we're not giving you more lines. So they fired him and they sent him home. And then they're like, can his stand-in act? And then like, the AD was like, yeah, his, his stand-in just did the, um, they just did the rehearsal. They came up to me, they're like, Blake, can you act? And I was like, uh, yeah, I can act, like, can you memorize lines? I was like, yeah, I can memorize lines. And then they, then the professional actors came in. We did did the rehearsal. I'm still standing there like stunned. Like I, I showed up to set thinking, okay, I'm gonna make 160 bucks. I'll be here for eight hours. I'm gonna go sit and read my book. I ended up leaving with $4,000 because an actor showed up, the actor I was gonna stand in for showed up to set with an ego. And that's why I got the job. That's the story. Stick to it.